Okay, this short video is just a, an organizational tip, and some people know how to do this, but probably a lot don't. But as far as viewing uh, different things, this is like my documents folder here on my uh, C drive, wherever you keep a lot of your stuff. But you know, you uh, by default things are kind of uh, put in name order, so you kind of start off with your folder, and then you have all your different files of different types and different things here in alphabetical order. Uh, all the way from A to Z or starting off with numbers basically before uh, before that. So uh, as far as one of the organizational tools obviously putting it in name order works real well but the other thing that we want to do uh, able to do is just through view here and depending on how you want to look at these of course you can look at them anyway. The easiest way to see all these things is list. You know you get detail you got too much stuff in there. Tiles you know it's uh, forget it content a lot of details again small icons all the way up to your medium large and extra large and sometimes these icons come in handy if you're looking at a graphics file so uh, if you're looking at graphics uh, then then you may want to do that and I'll show you that on a probably separate video <laughs> what that looks like but typically the best uh, thing that I found organization wise uh, is, is use list here so again list uh, that wasn't a good example medium icons okay and just click it on the list okay this is under the view uh, menu up here in Windows so just put it on a list that gives you a, a nice clean look of everything uh, and you can put it in any order you want. So now we come down here to this next little box here. You have uh, sort by. And then if you hold it on there, you've got these different options. And you can ascending or descending. So ascending is uh, basically you know, starting at A and going to Z. If you click descending, it's going to put it in alphabetical order. But now it goes from Z down all the way to A. So sometimes you may want to do that for whatever reason. But typically you're going to have this in ascending. So there's ascending and the other thing we want to look at here on the sort by now the most important is uh, uh, how you group these and typically again by default you're, it's going to be sorted by name so by name these things are in alphabetical order and then when you get down here into your files it doesn't matter what kind of file you have up in here they're going to be put in alphabetical order so it's not grouping these types of files together this way it's just everything's in alphabetical order the only thing that's separated here is your actual unzipped folders. You'll notice if you have folders down here uh, such as these here you're going to have the little zip uh, on the icon here. Those just are, are, are treated just as any regular file and so they're put in alphabetical order over here in the files. But the second category you'll see here at the end of as we get out of the A's going downwards and into the numbers now again numbers come before a so here's a and now you're starting to see these numbers here so now we have numbers and as the numbers uh, last of the numbers go alphabetical wise uh, then we see starting with Z here on these uh, unzip folders okay so we're all the way back to the start of the unzip folders and again the numbers uh, come before uh, come before your uh, letters and it appears also that symbols come before even numbers so if you have symbols here they're going to come before them. if you had a minus sign here like a dash or a hyphen here in front it would probably show up here as the one of the uh, first ones too so just a quick summary here we want a list we want to sort by name and ascending this is the end of tract one